When we started this journey to architect and integrate the combat systems for three air warfare destroyers in what was then the largest and most complex naval program in our country's history, we were challenged to create an entirely new combat systems engineering workforce. Now, more than a decade on, and after dedicating millions of hours, we've built the largest and most capable Australian combat system integration workforce ever assembled. We achieved this by drawing on a strong pedigree in system of systems engineering and by making major investments in our people and our corporate capability. Those investments developed a highly skilled combat system workforce, but they did so much more. They gave Defence a truly sovereign capability in combat system integration. The Government has made it clear that this capability is essential to our national security. And it means that we need to preserve our naval system integration capability as a national asset. This is just one of the reasons why it's vital we retain and transition the skills and capability that we have developed here on the AWD program to future naval programs. What we've achieved here is also the result of the relationships we've forged through an open and constructive engagement with Defence. In taking an enterprise view of the entire Air Warfare Destroyer program, we've been able to work collaboratively with the Commonwealth and our industry partners to generate best for program outcomes. We could not have achieved this without strong combat system domain knowledge an ability to minimise risk and to be regarded as safe hands for sensitive US and Australian technologies. So together we've delivered our combat system scope of work on time and on budget. This AWD workforce can also point to strong relationships with the many hundreds of combat system suppliers and the original equipment manufacturers across the entire Air Warfare Destroyer program. From the perspective of our customer, the trusted partnerships we have forged has provided Defence with the confidence to reach out to us as their integration partner and enabled the Royal Australian Navy to look upon us as a fundamental input to capability. Our ability to integrate in Australia was demonstrated when our first destroyer Hobart successfully completed combat system trials on its first attempt. This was an unprecedented achievement for any first of class warship. Over the past decade, we've proven just how much we can achieve if we put our minds to it as a capability partner to Defence. Together, we've built a workforce experience in taking an enterprise approach to major complex programs. We've developed a sovereign capability of systems engineering that is both proven and ready to take on new challenges. And in these ships, we have built and integrated the most modern, complex and lethal naval capability the Navy and our country has ever possessed.